Yeah, I'd like to tell about the Miriade project. Uh, it's a European funded project. Uh, it's a Marie Curie training program. So we will train 15 novel biomarker developers. So the new generation of biomarker developers in the fields. And uh, all PhD students uh, work simultaneously, but at different centers uh, together. And uh, yeah, uh, on the development of dementia biomarkers. And we want to accelerate the development, not only by giving them a good experience, uh, but within the Myriade project, we have different aspects uh, through which we hope that the development will be improved. So give you, to give you an example, um, <clears throat> we um, uh, want to compare uh, different de development workflows, so either by mass spectrometry biomarker development or immunoassay uh, biomarker development. And so three PhD students will work on mass spectrometry, three on uh, immunoassay development, but for the same biomarkers. And, uh, and there are other PhD students, they are uh, in the field of business innovation. Um, and they uh, make observations and interviews and they look at this process. Uh, at the end, we want to compare the different processes and uh, understand what factors define the success of a biomarker development and, um, yeah, and if it can improve also. So we will develop also a roadmap based on the findings. So um, I'm, I'm quite excited about the project because it works very well. The PhD students have started and they are are really productive, they do good research and the majority of them now work about a year on the project and uh, yeah it's, it's also nice to, to, uh, to train novel, uh, novel young researchers. Now one of the study uh, that I'm particularly uh, very enthusiastic about is um, yeah, about the biomarker development uh, based on the immunoassays. Uh, so we, we started from a big Olink proteomics data set uh, in about 1000 patients and we identified before Myriad already some uh, candidates that might be interesting. And within the Myriade project, the PhD students have developed single assays for these uh, yeah, mo uh, highly promising biomarkers. And uh, the development was successful and the validation as well. So I think, wow, it happens. Uh, I, I hope that it would work that way, because I do think that uh, using immunoassays uh, for discovery uh, yeah, it is already gives an advantage because we use immunoassays mostly also for clinical implementation. So we don't have a change in, in assay platforms along our development process. Uh, so that, that helps, it uh, smoothens the whole process. And it seems to work. And there are several abstracts also here at uh, ADPD of, of the ESRs presenting those results. ESRs is a European Union word for PhD students.